dear students today we will discuss <coughs> about the semiconductors family and different devices of the semiconductors so there are different semiconductor devices in the semiconductors family so there one is the diode and second one is the transistor and third one is the thyristor so here diode is the basically two terminal device semiconductor device and which is made by the p type and n type semiconductors and transistor is also three uh, three layers or three terminal device and which is pnp and second is npn type transistors and uh, third one is the thyristor or scr that is the silicon control rectifier which is the also three terminal semiconductor device so thyristor is the most important type of power semiconductor device so scr is the power semiconductor device a thyristor is a four layer semiconductor of pn pn structure with three pn junction it has three terminals one is anode second is cathode and third one is gate so we can say that thyristor is the four layer three terminal semiconductor device they are operated as bistable switches from non conducting to conducting state so this is the property of bistable device in which in which two stables one is stable and second is non stable so this operate as a vice stable switch from non conducting to conducting stage this also called unilateral switch also so this is the we have as a unilateral switch the word thyristor is coined from the command from the thyretron and transistor it was invented in the year 57 at bell laboratories so there are different semiconductor device which is in thyristor family so one is scr second is tri third is di and next one is gto and sus and also sbs so these some device are the family of the thyristors in thyristor or silicon control rectifiers scr so the symbol of the scr is the have three terminal gate anode and cathode and also it have four layers p layer and layer p layer and layer and three junction j1 j2 j3 so this is the symbol of the <coughs> scr or thyristors there are some construction uh, constructional features of the scr so <coughs> in this constructional features there generally two transistor are connected to each other here transistor q1 and q2 two transistor that is one transistor is npn and second is the pnp the transistor q1 and connected to the base of the transistor q2 by the emitter terminal and transistor q2 emitter connected to the base of transistor q1 so 
this is the construction feature of the SCR. Now we draw the VI characteristics of the SCR or graph between voltage versus current for the thyristor or SCR. So there is forward conduction region in this graph and also a reverse conduction region. In forward conduction region, there is the uh, holding current IH and a forward blocking region, there is the off state and there are different gate currents IG1, IG2 and IG node. And there is a forward break over voltage BFO. And the different gate currents IG2 is greater than IG1 and IG greater than to the IG node. So that is the forward conduction region in that SCR in own state. But in the reverse conduction region or reverse blocking region, so there is a reverse breakdown and also a reverse leakage current IR and a maximum reverse voltage BBR. That is the maximum reverse voltage. So in reverse region, there is a reverse breakdown occurs in this region. Or in this region, the current is not flow or flow in case of very small amount in the range of the nano ampere or micro ampere. So this graphical representation between the current versus voltage so the VI characteristics of the SCR. So in this graph, of VI characteristic of SCR, we have a latching current IL. So what is the latching current IL? The minimum value of anode current is required to turn on a thyristor from its off state and a usually greater than the holding current. So this is the latching current. Next, we have a holding current in this graph. So what is the holding current IH? The minimum value of anode current required for a thyristor to maintain itself in conduction state. So this is the holding current. What is the forward blocking modes in the VI characteristics of SCR? So with anode to cathode voltage being small, only leakage current flow in that case through the device, the SCR is then said to be in the forward blocking states. And forward conduction mode, thyristor is brought from forward blocking mode to forward <coughs> conduction mode by turning it on by exceeding the forward break over voltage or by applying a gate pulse between gate and cathode. So these are the two techniques to for turn on the thyristor. So in this forward conduction mode, we can also See in this diagram, there is a different uh, junctions J1, J2, and J3, and there are a forward conducting state of the SCR. And next one is the reverse blocking mode. So, in reverse blocking mode, the cathode is made positive with respect to NO with gate is open, thyristor is reverse biased as shown in below figure. So in this figure, thyristor is a reverse bias 
Here junction J1 and J3 are seen to be reverse wise, whereas junction J2 is forward wise. The device behave as if two diodes are connected to series with reverse voltage applied across them. So this is the reverse blocking modes of the SCR. What is the effect on gate current on forward blocking voltage? So this graph shows the effects on gate current on forward blocking voltage. So there are different gate currents, IG1, IG2 and IG3 and uh, at the different voltage level. So at the voltage V3 gate current IG3 and the voltage V2 gate current IG2 and voltage V1 gate current IG1. So there are different gate current with respect to different voltage values. Next one, thyristor triggering method or thyristor turn on method. So there are different methods. With the help of these methods, we can turn on the thyristor or SCI by the different techniques. So first method is the thermal turn on or high temperature triggering. Second one is the light triggering. And third one is the high voltage triggering method. And fourth one is the DB upon DT triggering method. And last one is the gate triggering methods. So there are total five types of triggering methods. With the help of these, we can turn on the thyristors from off state to on state. First one is thermal turn on or high temperature methods. In this method, the width of depletion layer of SCR decreases with increase in junction temperature. By increasing the junction temperature, the reverse wise junction collapse thus the device start to conduct. This type of turn on many cause thermal runaway and is usually un usually avoided. So this is the thermal turn or high temperature methods. Next one is the light triggering method. In this method for light triggering, SCR a special terminal is made inside the inner P layer instead of gate terminals. When light is allowed to strike this terminal, free charge carriers are generated. And when intensity of light becomes more than a normal value, the thyristor starts conducting. This type of SCR are <clears throat> called as a laser SCR. So this is the light triggering methods. Next one is the high voltage triggering method. In this method, an additional forward voltage is applied between anode and cathode. When the anode terminal is positive with respect to cathode, so junction J1 and J3 is forward wise and junction J2 is reverse wise. So in, the, in that case, no current flow due to depletion region in J2 is reverse wise, except leakage current. As B, AK is further increased at a voltage B, B, O forward break over voltage, the junction J2 undergoes avalanche breakdown. And so a current flow and the device tend to turn on even then gate is also open. So in this type of turn on is destructive and should be avoided. So this method is not a very fruitful in this triggering for 
turn on the SCR. So this type of turn is generally should be avoided. Next one triggering method is the DB upon DT. In this method, when the device is forward wise, junction J1 and J3 are forward wise and junction J2 and reverse wise. So we can also this in this circuit diagram. The junction J2 behave as a capacitor due to the charge existing across the junctions. Next method is the gate triggering method, which is the most widely used in SCR triggering methods. In this method, apply a positive voltage between gate and cathode, can turn on a forward by thyristors. When a positive voltage is applied at the gate terminal, charge carriers are injected in the inner P layer thereby reducing the depletion layer thickness. As the applied voltage increase, the carrier injection also increase. Therefore, the voltage at which forward breakover occurs decrease in that case. So, these are the some methods of training for a SCR and now we will discuss about the selection of a SCR. So we consider some parameters for selection, selection of SCR. First one NO cathode voltage, second one is NO cathode current and also consider gate current turn on time, turn off time, package, holding current and operational temperature. So these are the, some parameters for selection of SCR. And what is the application of the thyristor or SCR? So SCR used in AC DC converter or convert AC to DC and used in inverters also and application also in high power switches devices so these are the some application of the CR thyristor next semiconductor device family device is the drive so drive from triode for alternating current. It is bidirectional device or it is also three terminal device. One is gate, second one is the NO A1 and third is the NO A2. So this is the three terminal device or bidirectional device. This is the characteristics of trike, which is also show the VI characteristics of graph between current versus voltage. So there are different uh, parameters. There are also a holding current in the forward break over voltage region and forward conducting region and also a reverse break over voltage in reverse regions and uh, there is also a break back voltage in forward conduction region. So this is the characteristics VI graph between the current versus voltage of the track semiconductor device. Next semiconductor family device is the dike. Dike is basically two terminal semiconductor device and dike diode for alternating current or AC currents and this is also a bidirectional 
device. So dike is a two terminal device, bidirectional device, and for the alternating current diode device. So these are the VI characteristics or graph between current versus voltage of the diode device. So there are different regions in this graph on state for positive half cycle and on state for negative half cycle also and off state for negative half cycle and off state switches or break over voltage also there and the current in the range of milliampere and voltage take the in voltage in volt. So in trikes, an acronym for triode AC semiconductors. Trike is an acronym for triode AC semiconductor. Trike conduct both direction of AC current flow. Have the same switching characteristics as SCR. Equivalent to SCR connected in parallel back to back. So this is equivalent to two SCR which is connected in parallel back to back. So this we have as a trike. Trike are widely used to control application of power to various types of loads. So in track there is also three terminal G gate MT1 and MT2. What is the construction of trike? So in trike construction a four layer NP NP device in parallel with a P and P N device and designed to respond to a getting current through a single gate and also in tri construction not equally sensitive to the gate current flowing in opposite directions. So there are Trike construction concepts here. And the next one is what is the advantage and disadvantage of SCR and trikes? So, first is what is the current rating? So, in the trike, the current rating up to 25 amperes and current rating for the SCR up to 1400 ampere. So this is very high current rating for the silicon control rectifier or thyristors. And also what is the voltage rating? So voltage rating for the trike maximum rating is 500 volt. But voltage rating for the silicon control rectifier SCR is maximum rating is 2600 volt. So the current rating is 1400 amperes and voltage rating is 2600 amperes. Sorry, volts. So current rating and voltage rating is very high for the SCRs as compared to trike. And also, what is the frequency range of these two devices? So frequency range operating frequency range for the track is the 50 to 500 hertz. That is the range for track frequency. And second, the frequency range for the SCR that is the up to 30,000 hertz. So this is the very 
high frequency range for the SCRs. Trikes have difficult switching power to inductive loads. Next, two directional or y directional trigger diode. So, AC used in trike circuit because they have non symmetrical triggering characteristics. Most frequently used triggering device is the dike or diode. So, what is the construction of two terminal dike device? So, there is the three alternately docked layers, which is the T and P, and the doping concentration around both junction is equal. So, there is uh, two junction J1 and J2. So, doping concentration is equal around the both junction and leads are only attached to the outer layers. That is the outer layers in this diagram, P layer and both P layers and package like a PN junction. So, we can pack the dike as a PN junction diode. So, this is the construction of dike. A dike has the same effect on current regardless of the direction of flow. So, one junction is forward wise, the other is reverse wise in that dike and perform as if it contained two PN junction diode connected in series back to back. We can see this in that, sub, that diagrams as given below here. So, dike are most commonly used in conjunction with trike to provide full wave control of AC signals. Useful for controlling, like are useful for controlling dams, heaters, and also speed of small motor. So these are the useful in the dams, heaters, and speed of control motors. And thyristor can be tested with commercial test equipment or an ohm meter. Now refer to the operator manual for proper setting and readings when using commercial test equipment. An ohm meter can detect the majority of defective thyristors. And it cannot detect marginal or voltage sensitive devices. So, thyristor can be tested with commercial test equipment or in ohm meters. Yes. In summary, thyristor include SCR, tri and DIC that is also Thyristor MDs devices and SCR control current in one direction by a positive signal gear. So, Thyristor or SCR is the unidirectional device in which current control by a positive signal gears and turn off by reducing the anode to cathode voltage to zero and SCR can be turned off by reducing the anode to cathode voltage to zero 
and SCR used to control current in both AC and DC circuits. So SCR control the current both type AC type and DC type circuits. So this is the symbol of thyristor here. It has three terminals, anode, gate, and gates. And also, thyristor can handle up to 1400 amperes current. So this is very high amount of currents. And thyristor have the voltage rating up to 2600 volts. And thyristor can also handle frequency up to 30,000 hertz. So these are the some features of the thyristors. Next one is trike. So in trike, that is the y-directional thyristor. So in this trike, the current flow in both directions. And trike control current is either direction by either a positive or negative gate signals. And trike also can handle up to 25 amperes current and have the voltage rating up to 500 volts. And also trike handle frequency up to 400 hertz. So require the use of a die because they have non-symmetrical triggering characteristics. So next device of thyristor family is the die. So die is mostly used as a triggering device for the die. Testing is done using commercial transistor tester or meters. So, in direct testing is done using commercial transistor tester or a meters. So, these are some books for this topics. First one is electronics device and circuits by Milman and Alkaz. And second one is the power electronics by the PS Bhimla. There are some multi-choice questions and these questions are very important and very interesting and to clear the concept of this topic. So question first is NSCR silicon control rectifier has PN junction. So how many PN junctions present in the silicon control rectifier? So option A is two junction, option second three junction, option third is the four junction and option fourth is a none or the ever. So in that question correct option is the option second because silicon control rectifier has the three PA junctions that is one J1, J2 and J3. So SCR is the four layer three terminal and three junction device. So correct answer is option two here. In next question, 
एन एस सी आर इज ए सॉलिड स्टेट इक्वलेंट ऑफ सिलीकन कंट्रोल रेक्टिफायर इज ए सॉलिड स्टेट इक्वलेंट ऑफ ट्रायोड पेंटोड गैस फिल्ड ट्रायोड टेट्रोड सो करेक्ट ऑप्शन हियर इज ऑप्शन थर्ड गैस फिल्ड ट्रायोड सो एस सी आर इज ए सॉलिड स्टेट इक्वलेंट ऑफ द गैस फिल्ड ट्रायोड सो हियर करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन थर्ड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एन एस सी आर हैज सेमी कंडक्टर लेयर सो सिलीकन कंट्रोल रेक्टिफायर हैज द हाउ मेनी लेयर्स सेमी कंडक्टर लेयर्स ऑप्शन ए टू लेयर्स ऑप्शन सेकेंड थ्री लेयर्स ऑप्शन थर्ड फोर लेयर्स ऑप्शन फोर्थ नन ऑफ द एव सो हियर करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज फोर लेयर्स बिकॉज इन सिलीकन कंट्रोल रेक्टिफायर देयर इज टोटल फोर सेमी कंडक्टर लेयर्स विच मे बी पी एन थ्री एन एंड ऑल्सो एन पी एन पी एन एस सी आर हैज एन एस सी आर बी हैव एज ए स्विच सो यर ऑप्शन फर्स्ट एस सी आर बी हैव एज ए यूरि डायरेक्शनल ऑप्शन सेकेंड एज ए बाई डायरेक्शनल ऑप्शन थर्ड एज ए मैकेनिकल option 4th is none of the above so here scr we have as a unidirectional switch because the flow of current in scr is unidirectional so silicon control rectifier or thyristor we have as a unidirectional switching device and next question an scr is sometime called an silicon control rectifier or thyristor is sometime called trik dik uni junction transistor or thyristor so another name of the silicon control rectifier is thyristor so thyristor or scr is the same so sometime scr is also called as a thyristor so here correct option is for thyristor in next questions एन एस सी आर इज मेड ऑफ सिलीकन कंट्रोल रेक्टिफायर इज मेड ऑफ जर्मेनियम सिलीकन कार्बन नन ऑफ द एव सो हियर करेक्ट आंसर इज सिलीकन बिकॉज सिलीकन एंड ऑल्सो जर्मेनियम इज द सेमी कंडक्टर मेटीरियल्स एंड बोथ semiconductor materials generally used for the made of semiconductor device such as transistor scr and diodes what due to the some specific properties of the silicon so scr is made by the silicon semiconductor material because silicon have some specific properties as compared to germanium silicon so here correct answer is option second silicon so scr is made of the silicon
a next question in the normal operation of an scr in operation of the scr anode is with respect to cathode so what is the potential of anode with respect to cathode in the normal operation condition of the silicon control rectifier or thyristor so here option first is at zero potential option second is the negative potential and option third is the positive potential and option fourth is the none of the ever so here in scr we keep the anode as a positive with respect to cathode so anode is the positive terminal and cathode is the negative terminal so in scr anode we have as a positive potential at the anode terminal so correct answer here is positive option third and silicon control rectifiers combines the features of so what is the features in scr combination or what is the combines features of in scr so option first a rectifier and resistance combines features second a rectifier and resistor combined features third one is a rectifier and capacitor features fourth one is none of the above so in scr the a rectifier and a transistor basically the scr made with the combination of the rectifier plus transistor so this name is a thyristor or silicon control rectifier so here correct option is second scr combines the features of rectifiers and as well as transistor so scr have the both device features first features of rectifiers and second feature have the transistor features so here correct option is the second so so they are the there are the some multi choice questions thank you thank you very much